Hey guys, you know what time it is. It's Enigma Hood time. Now, I was on CNN and I came across a very unusual article. A transgendered boy is being refused entry into the girl's restroom at his school in Colorado. Uh, now, this child is not a transsexual, meaning that he was originally a boy and then got an operation to have a vagina. He's more in line with a transvestite, meaning that he has male organs, he has a dick and balls, just like any other male does, but he dresses like a girl. He has like pinkish purplish hair, and uh, he wears dresses. Now, he's in first grade, and apparently during the first half of first grade, he was allowed to use the girl's restroom. But then the, the school said, you know what, <laughs> this is kind of fucked up. Uh, you're going to use the boys' restroom from now on because you have a dick. Okay, you are a boy. You're a male. And until you have a vagina, you're going to be using the boys' restroom. Now, we always hear these horror stories about schools acting discriminatory towards their, towards their students. And um, it always infuriates us. But this is one of the few times where I agree 100% with what the school did. It's not an issue of choice, okay? It's not an issue of uh, uh, gay and lesbian rights and things like that. And everyone knows that I'm totally in favor for equal rights for homosexuals. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with biology. It has to do with what's between your legs. This kid has a dick and balls. By definition, you are a male. Okay, this is not up to discussion. This is not up to choice. It's not up to, well, you know, today I feel like doing this and you have to respect that. No, it has to do with the biological shit that's between your legs. And that's it. Now, the other thing that's kind of fucked up is I'm supposed to believe that this kid that's in first grade just chose to wear dresses and dye his hair purplish pink and told his parents, hey, guess what? This is what I am. Take it or leave it. No, no, I have a really hard time buying that. I think these parents are doing this to this kid. I think they, I don't know what the fuck is exactly going on in their warped brains, but I think that they wanted a girl, and they, so they're, they're raising their child as a girl. Okay, you know, if, everyone, if anyone played that game Guilty Gear, Guilty Gear X2, you know, that, that girl Bridget, that's actually a boy. And the backstory to that character is their parents raised him as a girl. And I didn't, I wasn't sure if that was real or not, but apparently it is. This happens sometimes, where a parent will raise a boy as a girl. And, um, you know, I can't help but think that maybe that the parents are doing this on purpose because they want to sue and get money. So that's, that's... Entering my thoughts as well. I, I think that they might be litigious and are just trying to run a scam so that they have an excuse say, Oh, you're discriminating against our child. We're going to sue you. We're going to sue you and get all your money. That's, that's what I think. That's what I think is really going on here. I think they set this up right from the start. If that is the case, if that is the case, what a bunch of scumbag parents. What a bunch of scumbag, worthless piece of shit parents. Now, there's no absolute proof that that's what they're doing, but, you know, I suspect it. In any case, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Bottom line, it's an issue of biology. It's an issue of what is between your legs. This kid has a dick and balls. You don't just get to choose to go to the girl's bathroom just because you feel like it. Okay? Now... If one day he decides to get an operation, have a vagina instead or whatever, that's a different issue. Okay, we'll deal with that when it comes. In that case, yeah, I'm more inclined to say, okay, yeah, you can use the girls' restroom then. But until then, no. No, it's not an issue of choice. But I want to know what you guys think. I mean, I'm willing to stand corrected as long as there is a good rational argument. Okay? Not just an issue of... Oh, yeah, yeah, he can choose whatever he wants to do. He can go to whichever bathroom he feels like going to. That, no, that's not a good argument. I need to know a good rational argument. I can't think of a single good one. Because it's an issue of physical biology. Okay, there is no real ambiguity there. 
So let me know in the comments section what you think. This is Enigma Hood signing off.